Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Suburban Sill. Today we're going to just have a quick chat about lithops, mesems, um, living stones if you will. A fun quirky little plant that um, is very complicated but also very interesting and somewhat rewarding. So let's get to it. Here is a lithop that I've had for mm, a year and, oh gosh, year or two maybe. It actually was a grouping of three and two did not make it. Um, I got these at a hardware store and they were in pretty bad shape. This was like my first go around at lithops. Um, and this is the first time that this one has split. The tricky thing is that this one was really stretched out and so I'm not sure if it's going to wither away further down or if this is it. So this one is a little bit of a trial and error but look at twins. I got two babies out of one which is pretty cool. Pretty interesting as well. So here's what I know about lithops. And I will tell you that I am not an expert on lithops, but I'm willing to share what I've done. When you get a lithop, you don't water them, hardly ever. So these living stones live in very arid conditions and hardly ever see water. I can't even tell you how often I water this because it just never, I never do. The only time I water is when I feel like the main one here is looking a little squishy, looking a little wrinkled, and then I will give it a drink. Now this is obviously looking very wrinkled, but it's supposed to because it's shedding its outer leaves. So the life cycle of a lithop is quite interesting. They, I don't know, I don't know how you'd say it, they kind of divide like a little cell. So you have your outer leaves and then it will open up and put out new leaves shedding the outside. When it is shedding its outer leaves, you do not water. Because if you do that, these leaves will start taking in water and they won't like get the hint that they're supposed to be dying back. So you withhold water when the leaves are splitting. Now, let's see, this one's looking a little squishy. It might need a little water, see how it's wrinkled. This one is, looks like it might be getting ready to split. So what's also really cool about lithops is that now these are too little, so they're not quite they're not quite there yet. But these ones, um, when I first got the group of three that was came with this one, one split open and flowered immediately, and it was really cool. So what happens is the leaves open up, it'll put out a flower, and then that flower dies, and usually then it will put out new leaves. But that only happens when the lithop is like at a certain maturity and I think that these are too young to flower. There's a lot of different varieties of lithops. You might also know um, of like the living stones, the like royal flush purple kind of monster looking lithop. Those are really cool too and I did have um, a couple of those but they're a little tricky. I've had some problems with them not making it but I recommend, if you're interested in lithops, that you give them a try. If you can find them, give them a try. They're super interesting. This little guy here, or these little guys, this is like a lapidaria that I ordered online a long time ago. Um, it's just another kind of form of living stone. I recently noticed in the comments of some of the videos that I tend to butcher plant names, which is totally true. Um, I don't know, I'm not really good at Latin, I guess. So I apologize, um, but 
I call this lapidary, it has another name. <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Make sure you keep them in a bright spot with lots of light um, and only put them in extremely well-draining soil. So I just have them in some rocks, basically some cactus pumice rocks so that their drainage is immaculate. That is what I know about lithops. I'm sure that there's a lot more information and I would love it if you would comment below with any tips and tricks for taking care of lithops and living stones. And um, if you have any recommendations on what you think I should do about this guy, if you think it's gonna fall back a little bit more or what, I am here for your tips. But thanks for checking out this plant diary. For more plant diaries, for more plant discussions, subscribe to my channel and check out my website, suburbansill.com. You can also follow me on Instagram where I occasionally post pictures about what I'm doing in the garden or just plant pictures. Um, that's just kind of fun stuff. So thanks for checking out this video and I will see you next time.